Hi, this is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. So let's get to it. Uh, please tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, uh, my name is Prerna Jha, and I am a technical product manager with uh, TCL Communications. Um, I basically come in from the software background, uh, mainly in the telecom industry. So I've worked on a lot of, on the devices side uh, for a lot of uh, carriers like AT&T, Verizon, and then uh, worked with, for Microsoft for some time, then moved into actually 911 emergency industry. So um, built products for 911. And now finally I've moved into the uh, manufacturing industry for the mobile devices of the TCL communications. Wow, so that's, a, that's, that's quite a career. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. So what's, what's the best thing about being in product development? Uh, the, I think the feeling of, uh, you know, seeing something from scratch, building something from scratch, and uh, right from the phase when it is in the idea and con concepts and uh, taking it to the production and uh, putting it in the customer's hand and getting that appre appreciation, I think that's the best uh, thing to be in the product development. I agree. That's great. So I hear in the industry, companies, they're always looking to accelerate product development, increase innovation, and or improve the handoff from design to manufacturing. Tell me your thoughts about that. Uh, I agree. I would say I would agree with that uh, because with the, with the cutting edge technologies these days and the fast pacing industry, uh, the products have to evolve. Mm -hmm. You have to keep evolving your products. You have to uh, incorporate latest technologies in your product because it's all about supply and demand. So uh, the, uh, the uh, users these days, they, they want um, uh, new technologies. For example, let's say I am working on mobile devices. Uh, in, in the coming days, all the users would want 5G on their phone. So if I do not incorporate 5G in future in, in uh, my phone, not a lot of users would, would be interested. So I, I think I agree with that. Uh, innovation and uh, evolvement is very important for uh, the products to be in the market. Excellent, yes. So tell me, what other industry experts like yourself should be on the Products by Design podcast? Uh, I think uh, the, uh, I, again, as I said, the cutting, cutting edge technologies, machine learning, uh, AI, uh, AR, VR, people from who build those kind of products. Uh, I think if, if I was on the listener end, I would be really interested uh, to listen to their podcasts of how do they build their products and uh, what technologies do they use. So industry experts from those areas, I think. Interesting. Yeah, we have not had anybody with AI on, and I, I'd like to I'd like to hear that as well. So thank you. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, what insights would you like to share with other product manufacturers? Ah, uh, that's that's good. Uh, I think uh, so. I, I'm sure you would have heard about uh, you know the, heard, heard the phrase uh, necessity is the mother of invention, and what I feel is. Um, uh, any product uh, need, it basically comes in when people start finding problems. So I think products which are built in an innovative manner to solve people's problem is going to be, uh, according to me, a successful product development. And that is what I would uh, suggest and provide uh, the same insight to the manufacturers that uh, solve the problems in an innovative manner and uh, add all the uh, latest technologies to your product. Excellent, thank you. So my, I, my next question, I'm gonna break into two parts. Uh, one, because you've had such a, uh, an interesting career, what's the craziest thing you've seen in, in product development in your career? And the second, I think some, one of the craziest things we've all seen is, is what's going on with this pandemic. How are you doing with it? And, and how, are you, uh, how, how are you faring with the self, uh, self isolation and all that? Sounds good. So yeah, let's let's uh, tackle the first part of the question first. 
so the craziest things, I mean, my, my career has been so diverse in so many different fields, even though it was just telecom, but I, it, I have been working in different parts of the telecom industry. I think the craziest part was when I was in the 911 industry. 911 itself, uh, you know, when you hear 911, you start thinking of crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. So, <laughs> so uh, with the 911 standards uh, and the request from the uh, customers, they changed at a very fast pace. Okay. And um, we used to have uh, releases of products of the same products would be in, uh, in like four different versions hmm. because the requirements would be different for all the customers and uh, keeping the quality, making the plans and keeping the quality at night. So with 911, you have to be at the 5 nine. that's what they follow. So 99.99999% accuracy of your 911 calls. Wow. So keeping up with the quality of the 911 calls and keeping the infrastructure always running used to be really crazy for us because we used to have like back to back things. <laughs> that that would be the craziest part of my career I would say in the product development. But it used to be a great feeling when you see that product being deployed so, so successfully. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, about the COVID-19, um it is it is uh uh you know it's, it's a struggle for all of us. Yeah. And in different uh, ways, people are struggling. Um, some people are, uh, you know, they have the luxury to work from home. Some people like me have the luxury mm -hmm. to work from home. Some people do not. Right. So I am, uh, I'm holding fine. We do have some issues uh, in the company because of being restricted to home and not being able to uh, communicate so much. Sure. Um, uh, but uh, so far I'm holding fine and uh, we are able to run the business successfully uh, even it, as I said if technology wasn't here I don't know what would we do <laughs> <laughs> so technology is really helping us in, in keeping up with the 911 uh, sorry the, the pandemic <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. The technology has been great. I, uh, I, I tell everyone I live on Zoom anymore, uh, <laughs> but, but glad that you're able to work from work remotely and, and uh, that you're, you're still able to work. Uh, yeah. you know, I know a lot of people are not able to, and uh, it's very hard. So I, yeah, I uh, absolutely, I agree. And uh, I, I mean, I have uh, all my best wishes for the people who, are not able to work and I hope they are able to go go back to work pretty soon. I hope I hope so. Yes, <laughs> I do. Yeah. So, hey, that's about all the time we have. This is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. For more insights and ideas, please go to creativemechanisms.com.